welcome to my channel. So obviously today I am coming at you with a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing. Everybody always says that. But yeah, this is the look that I have created. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply this pearly lip balm to my lips. And then go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I like to blend this out with my fingers. And then I take just any fluffy brush and dip it into the white shade in the palette and kind of set down the upper part of my lids. Not the bottom part of my lid though because I want that to still be tacky when I go in with my lid color. Okay, so I'm going to take this flat shader brush. It's from the Naked One palette and I'm going to dip it into this warm shade called Summer Yum and put that on the inner part of the lid. Now I'm going in back and forth motions with the brush just flat like that is just to kind of get it in a nice even circle in the crease. Okay, and now I'm going to take this side of the same brush with no product on it and just blend out those edges. And they do not have to be perfect in any way because we're definitely going to be adding other colors and stuff. So they don't have to be perfect, but I do just like them to be a bit blended before I go in with other colors. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with just this fluffy crease brush, and I'm going to dip that into the shade Puree. I'm going to make sure that I get some of that puree color in the crease above that warm color. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on the camera with the lighting and everything, but you can definitely see a color separation. And then I'm going to take this angled fluffy crease brush and just kind of blend that out. This has, um, just a little bit of a really light color from yesterday. So it's practically clean. Okay, now I'm going to add just a little bit of this shade Peaches and Cream to the very top of the crease. I'm going to go in with the kind of fluffy but kind of flat side of that Urban Decay brush. And I'm going to take it into the shade Charmed, I'm sure. It's just the darkest um, chocolatey brown color in the palette that's matte anyway. And I'm going to just place the smallest amount of this just on my outer V. And then blend it out in a minute. I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush that I used before and blend that out with no additional product on it. And you can drag it a little bit into the crease if you want to. That'll just give your eye a little bit more of a rounded appearance. And then I'm going to go back in with the angled fluffy brush that had the really light product on it. And blend out those edges once more. Okay, now I'm going to work on the lower lash line. And I'm going to use the really flat side of this brush that I used for this part of the color. And I'm going to dip it into that same Summer Yum color and put it as close as I possibly can to my lash line. to blend that out with a pencil brush and then taking that into puree I'm going to put that just on the outer portion I'm going to take this angled brush again and dip it into peaches and cream that light color again and then just kind of blend all of that together with that shade for my brow bone I am going to just use this kind of thick flat brush and I'm going to dip it into the shade white peach and mix it with the shade Peaches and Cream down here. Okay, now that we're done with the eyes pretty much, I'm just going to 
fill in my brow my brows with the Anastasia brow definer and now one little teensy thing that I like to do every day is just grab that fluffy crease brush again and run it through and blend things out a little bit more just to make sure that everything is really as blended as I want it to be. So I can see that I've definitely lost a little bit of that reddish brown color so I'm going to take a little bit more of it on that flat shader brush and add just a bit more. Okay, and now moving on to the face, I'm going to use this Makeup Geek blush in the shade XOXO, but I'm just going to dust it as lightly as I possibly can so that there's a barely any pigment from it. I'm going to barely tap my blush brush into my bronzer and just kind of add that on top. And then I'm going to take that same bronzer and just bronze up my face how I normally would with it. I'm going to take White Peach from the palette and put that right on top. And now I'm going to put that in my inner corner. I'm going to take this brush that I set down my, um, my primer with and I'm going to take it into that shade White Peach and just put it on my cheekbones as well as my highlight because this is an all matte look. I don't want a shimmery highlight. So I just want to put this matte white eyeshadow on my cheekbones. The reason that I didn't put mascara on when I was finished with the eyes and the eyebrows is because I like to do all of that other stuff and then set my face with a setting spray before putting mascara on because then it sometimes makes my mascara run and smudge. This is just the Sephora brand one. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put mascara on off camera real quick. Okay, and... The last step to this look, I'm going to put on this MAC lipstick. It is in the shade Velvet Teddy. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!